Tonight we're hearing from the daughter of Falcons football great Tommy Nobis. Her da his daughter now sharing her father's story one day after tragic revelations that he suffered from CTE in the years before his death. Devin Jekineski talked with John Sherrick this afternoon about her family's years of hurt and fear with no explanation until now. This is difficult for her. You know, we always just thought that was my dad's personality. Talking about her father, the beloved Falcons football legend of 45 and 50 years ago, Tommy Novus, the Atlanta legend who dedicated his life after football to helping disabled children. It is difficult for Devin Jackaniski to talk about the father she knew and loved and feared growing up. There were a lot of rage issues. He had more depression as it advanced. Now she knows why he was that way. She knows a year after Tommy Nobis died at the age of 74, researchers at Boston University's CTE Center confirmed for the family that his brain had been deteriorating for years because of repeated concussions years earlier playing football. So they found stage four CTE, chronic traumatic encephalopathy. He had the most advanced form of the disease. It is the reason she knows now for all of Tommy Nobis's anger and violent outbursts while she and her two brothers were growing up. If only, she said the family and her father could have known why then. We wouldn't have been as angry with our father. Uh, we probably would have still been fearful um, because some of the triggers we just never knew um, what would trigger some of his anger. The family relieved to know but not surprised. I think there were times that he was trying to cry out to us and we really didn't know what he was trying to tell us and he couldn't convey that to us. So it we weren't surprised, but it came with a lot of sadness. So Devin Jackaniski's focus from now on, she says, is educating parents, coaches, children, the whole culture that begins with the youngest children in all the contact sports about safe play, concussions, prevention. Because the more concussive events they have at a younger age, the greater chances they have to develop irreversible damage. And we loved our dad dearly. He was a kind, generous man. Hoping to help him now, she says, give again by speaking out. He loved to give and give and give. And so by coming out with his CTE diagnosis, we felt like we were gonna give back to the community just like my dad did for so long. In Atlanta, John Shearick, 11 Alive News. Up next, meet